Sally and her classmates are enjoying their trip to Zoo York, the city that never sleeps. In fact, the streets only come alive once the sun has set. It's time to explore the city's depths and learn more about the structure of animal cells. So far, Sally's explored a range of organelles, which are organised, specialised structures that are found in eukaryotic cells. In this third lesson on animal cells, we'll continue exploring the functions of animal cell components and their structures. Of course, the individual animal cell components need to cooperate with each other. Let's quickly revise what we have covered in the last two videos. In the first lesson, we introduced the protective cell membrane and the nucleus. We also compared the protoplasm and the cytoplasm, which both contain cytosol. The second lesson explored organelles involved in synthesizing and processing biological molecules, including the endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, the Golgi apparatus, and lysosomes. If you need to refresh your memory, please see our earlier videos on animal cells. This lesson will focus on animal cell components responsible for energy transformations and structure. These include the mitochondria, the cytoskeleton, and the centrosome. Now, how do animal cells get the energy that they need to function? They can't exactly drink coffee every morning. Instead, cells use glucose, a type of sugar, to produce energy. Animals obtain glucose from the foods that they consume. For example, those study snacks that you like to eat contain useful glucose. Let's examine the organelle which processes this glucose. The mitochondrion is an organelle that is the site of aerobic cellular respiration. During aerobic respiration, glucose and oxygen react to form carbon dioxide and water, as well as energy that can be used by the cell. Two membranes surround each mitochondrion, an outer and an inner membrane. The inner membrane is folded into cristae, which are small ridges. Both membranes are composed of a phospholipid bilayer, which consists of two layers of phospholipid molecules. There are other components inside mitochondria, but we'll discuss them in our upcoming videos on aerobic respiration in the topic cell function. Let's check in with Sally and her classmates. They've just arrived at the power station, which generates energy to run the whole city of Zoo York. Of course, the energy is 100% renewable. Hold on, the power station is pretty similar to a mitochondrion, right? While the power station generates energy to run the city, the mitochondria generate energy to run an animal cell. If you peek through a microscope, you'll probably notice that animal cells are highly structured. How do the organelles remain organised? The answer lies with the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is a complex network of fibres that supports the interior of an animal cell and keeps the organelles organised. It also provides a framework for the movement of organelles around the cytoplasm, as most organelles are attached to the cytoskeleton. In this way, the cytoskeleton is like the human skeleton, which gives the body shape organises internal components like organs, and anchors moving body parts. The fibres of the cytoskeleton are made of proteins, which comprise of long chains of amino acids. OK, so Sally has heard spooky stories about the secret underground tunnels in Zoo York. Of course, she decides to explore them. How disappointing! Instead of ghosts, she discovers metal beams and sleepy construction workers. They tell her that the metal beams form the foundations of the city, providing structural support for all the buildings. Sally notices that the series of metal beams, which run through the entire city, 
resemble the cytoskeleton. While the metal framework provides structural support to all the buildings, the cytoskeleton provides structural support to an animal cell. Let's explore another organelle related to cell structure. The centrosome is an organelle that is involved in maintaining cell structure. The centrosome also plays a key role in mitosis. If you recall from Year 10 science, mitosis is the process of cell division, which involves one cell splitting into two genetically identical daughter cells. We'll discuss mitosis in our upcoming videos on mitosis in the topic cell replication. The centrosome consists of two microtubule rings, which are composed of proteins made of long chains of amino acids. Stars fill the sky, and Sally's final destination is the Urban Planning Centre, which organises the layout of buildings in New York. The centre's director proudly showcases new plans to expand the city. Turns out, Zoo York will soon double in size. They'll even need two city councils to manage everything. Why does this sound familiar? Because the Urban Planning Centre is very similar to a centrosome. The Urban Planning Centre organises the city's structure and guides its expansion. Likewise, the centrosome supports the animal cell structure and guides cell division, which allows the animal to grow. Let's pause for a moment to look at the types of questions you could be asked in exams. Questions will ask things like, which organelle performs a particular role in animal cells? What role does a specific cell component play in animal cells, and how does this role relate to its structure? What are the similarities and differences in the structure and function of individual cell components in animals? And how can we represent an animal cell? We'll discuss how to draw animal cells in our upcoming video on drawing prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. The answers for the other questions may vary, especially if you are asked about specific components of animal cells. Now, let's revise what we've learned by looking at a sample question. In the table below, Identify the missing organelles and outline the missing functions. Pause here to think about your answer. Let's start with the first row of the table. We need to outline the function of the nucleus. Remember, we compared the nucleus to a city council, which documents and manages everything that goes on in New York. So, what do you think the nucleus does in an animal cell? The nucleus stores all the hereditary genetic information, or genes, of the animal in DNA. It also controls and coordinates cell activities, such as cell growth. Now, it's time to identify an organelle that degrades cellular waste material and unwanted foreign matter that enters the cell. Here's a clue. It contains digestive enzymes, which are used to break down complex molecules, like proteins, into simple molecules, like amino acids. Do you remember now? As we can see, the organelle is the lysosome. Let's continue on to the third row. We must identify an organelle that synthesizes, processes, and transports proteins and lipids. Remember, in our second lesson on animal cells, we introduced four organelles that are involved in synthesizing and processing proteins and lipids. The endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, the Golgi apparatus, and lysosomes. Of course, this organelle is not a lysosome. The organelle isn't a ribosome either, because ribosomes only perform protein synthesis. They aren't involved in making lipids. In this case, we can only consider the Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum. 
Both organelles are involved in processing and transporting proteins and lipids, but what about producing them? The endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for building proteins and lipids, while the Golgi apparatus is not. Therefore, the organelle is the endoplasmic reticulum. Finally, we can outline the function of the mitochondrion. Earlier in this lesson, we compared the mitochondria to a power station. Do you remember why? Like a power station, a mitochondrion generates energy to run the cell. But where does this energy come from? If you recall, the mitochondrion is a site of aerobic respiration. This is where glucose and oxygen react to form carbon dioxide, water and energy. This table identifies the missing organelles and outlines the missing functions. Pause the video if you would like to read it for yourself. Let's revise what we've covered in this lesson. Firstly, it is important that you remember the components of an animal cell, and secondly, you should know the function of each component. The mitochondrion is an organelle that is the site of aerobic cellular respiration, so it produces energy for the cell. Mitochondria are surrounded by an outer and an inner membrane, which is folded into cristae. Each membrane consists of a phospholipid bilayer. The cytoskeleton is a complex network of protein fibres that supports the interior of an animal cell and keeps the organelles organised. Most organelles are attached to the cytoskeleton, so it provides a framework for the movement of organelles around the cytoplasm. The centrosome is an organelle that is involved in maintaining cell structure. It also plays a key role in mitosis, which is the process of cell division. To finish, this table summarises the key points of this lesson. Pause the video if you would like to read it for yourself. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on biology, check out our video on comparing prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells.